Father, I pray that you help us today. Um, help, help us learn this ancient language. Um, I pray you help me as a teacher. Help me be clearer. Um, I pray that you give us a sense of we can really do this. And I pray that in the process that you help us see the beauty of this ancient language. And um, we pray all this in Christ's name. Amen. So, uh, our quiz uh, for today is 3A, and um, all these are hyperlinked, so uh, if you click on there, well, of course, I don't have internet to, if you click on that, it should each time take you to the, um, Dropbox into the quiz. I um, should have had this, there we go, uh, connected first. And so, what we're going to do uh, both times is just uh, we're getting where we can read this. Uh, so, what we're going to do is just, we'll go around the room, I'll do one, two, and we'll just go till we get finished. Um, but I, I thought before we did that, maybe we would just review a little bit and see if that would help us. So, there are two main things that we have to recognize in Hebrew when we read. There are open syllables and closed syllables. Well, what does that mean? It means in Hebrew, most words have three uh, letters. They're called radicals. So usually, when you see a Hebrew word, it's going to have three letters or three radicals. And most letters are going to have a vowel either below it or above it. So, if the syllable is like this, where you have letter and vowel, that's called an open syllable. And if you have letter, vowel, letter, that's called a closed syllable. So, the rule is that all syllables in uh, Hebrew begin with a consonant. So you never begin a word in Hebrew with a vowel. You have to begin it with a consonant. And then you have closed, open syllables and closed syllables. The open syllable usually takes a long vowel. So remember when we... Uh, memorize the chart, it starts with the historically long vowels and then it goes to the long vowels and then the um, short vowels and then the very shorts. Open syllables usually have a long vowel in it. A closed syllable, and th this is an important one, if unaccented, so an unaccented closed syllable has to have a short vowel. You can't have a long vowel in a closed, unaccented syllable. Usually the accent is on the last syllable, but they mark them for us with the cantillation marks. So, Van Pelt, very good uh, introductory grammar. He points out when you have a word like davar, the da, there, there are a couple reasons why it's da instead of davar, right? So you have to divide it here because every syllable in Hebrew must begin with a consonant. And if you divided it here, it would begin with this vowel, and you can't do that. So every syllable must begin with a consonant, and if it's unaccented, 
then um, that has to be a short syllable is is the rule and the the mnemonic device is short is silent short silent sh schwa that closes syllable so you divide the word dav var the other way you know it's a, an open syllable and a closed syllable is if a begadka fat starts a syllable it has to have the dot and because this one doesn't have the dot, you know it can't, that it's falling an open syllable, not a closed syllable. Um, and those are the rules between open and closed syllables. Pretty simple. So let's see if we can uh, put those into. So is this an open or closed syllable? Open. That's the Shiva's vocal. So it's be, re, sheet. Is this an open or closed syllable? Closed. And there's the accent mark. What about this? Uh, is ba open or closed? Open. Is this open or closed? Yeah, yeah if you count this as a constant, I guess it would be closed, but uh, what about this, open or closed? Open, open, closed, accented. You always have to start a syllable with a consonant. So, et, is et open or closed? Is that long or short? Uh, it, it's long, I think. The serre is long and segol is short, but it's ac but it's accented. So it's accented. You can have a long in a closed. Hush. Is that an open or closed syllable? Closed. Sha. Open or closed? Open. Mine. Open or closed? Closed. Two. All right. V. Et. Eight. So open syllable, closed syllable. Right. Ha. Ah. Ritz. Open, open, closed. So. They're open and closed syllables. A closed, unaccented syllable has to be short. Uh, a lot of times a schwa will close uh, a, uh, a closed syllable, but if a schwa uh, starts, it has to be open. So it's that can't be closing this syllable because you wouldn't, you don't have any vowel there, so it has to be vowel, um, I mean, consonant vowel, because every syllable has to start with a consonant. So it's the. And then this is closed, eight. Right? So, uh, Do you guys want to see uh, how we can read? Uh, Audrey, if you start, and we'll go around, and I'll do the last one, then we'll go uh, to Audrey again. The whole line.
that's perfect. All right. Uh, would it be your? Yeah, sorry. Perfect. At Hashemayim, uh, Mateus. The at so so that's going to be our open syllable. So this is at at, and we're adding this uh, open syllable ve. Right. Ha, right, and so this is going to be ha, this is nothing, this is the A sound, so you go ha, ah, rets. Well, I mean, you know, it looks, you know, if you did that, it would be a lambda or a Lamed. I I I remember those days. Uh, all right. Uh, four. That's perfect. Vaha aritz. So this is a tricky one. Because you're tempted to say, okay, this is a closed syllable, and so that's high. But this is a long vowel, and you can't have a long vowel in an unaccented closed syllable, which means this has to be two vocal syllables, ha, ye, ta. And the other reason this can't be a closed syllable is because this is a begad kafat. And if a begad kafat starts a syllable, you have to have the dot in it. This doesn't have the dot, so this tells you that that's a vocal schwa. And if this is a vocal schwa, then this has to be an open syllable. So it's ha, ye, ta. Ha, ye, ta. Three syllables. All right. Uh, perfect. And so uh, I think you picked up that this is the V sound because it doesn't have the H uh, in there. All right. Perfect. Uh, so you've got your open syllable, V. You've got your open syllable, Cho. And then you've got um, your uh, closed syllable, Shek. Uh, and the accent in this word is on the ho, the ho shek. Good. Eight. Al pene. Final mem, right? Tachom. Right. And so it's a closed syllable, chom, and that's a long vowel, but it's accent. So if you, you can have a closed syllable, with the long vowel if it's accented, but if the accent isn't there, this vowel has to be short. Right? Yeah. You're, yeah. 
you're reading kind of up and down. I, I taught at a Korean language seminary in Atlanta for a n- number of years, and um, I had a translator, and I would go to chapel, and it was totally in Korean, and I didn't understand anything but Konsamida uh, and Yeshunim, thank you very much, and Jesus was the extent. But I remember the guy who ran that seminary said, you Americans read the Bible, and it's always this way, and we Koreans read the Bible, and it's always... <laughs> I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, who's turn? Uh, nine? Are you nine? Oh, got the... Furtive pata. So, ve, and technically that's a closed syllable, but they call this a furtive pata because it's going to help you say, because it would be very hard to say, ruk. So, it's ruach. So, technically this isn't beginning, but they would say technically that's a closed uh, syllable. It's just you've got that pata to help you say. So you said that exactly right. The Ruach. Perfect. Elohim is our friend. Oh, and I got I got my friend. Merachefet. Merachefet. So uh, where is uh, this word accented? There's a cantillation mark. And the cantillation mark is pointing backward. So it's telling you that this word goes together with this. So it's the Ruach Elohim Merachefet. Uh, so it's kind of nice. Oh, and Audrey, you get the one that rhymes with Matthias's. Hamayim. So this is going to be a closed syllable. This is going to be a doubling dagesh. So it's ham my yim. And this is a short syllable, and that's a close, so that we're we're good there. Ham mayim. Al pene hamayim. All right. Vayomer. Good. And you see the cantillation marks. Put these two words together. So they're telling you. Uh... All right. Uh, Mateus. So uh, the, the guy, when he does the MP3, he says, Yahi. Yahi. So the. Yod is a vocal schwa, open, and the he is a long vowel, but it's also open. The he. Mm-hmm. Or, it would, actually, if it had the dot here, it would be or. And this is like the city that Abraham comes from. He's living in Ur of the Chaldees, and it's the enlightened city. Well, they're claiming it's the enlightened city, but really it's in spiritual darkness. And God comes and takes him out of Ur of Chaldees, and he's bringing him back to the Garden of Eden. And there was light. Light be... uh, be light. Uh, let there be light. Usually it's translated. Good. Exactly right. So this is a metheg. Metheg means bridle. So it's a, when you say that, stop, bridle that syllable. So they're telling you that's an open syllable. Vi, ya, he. Three open syllables. Uh, 
And it is a converted form, let there be light and there was light. But for some reason, you don't have the uh, doggish there. So it's all, this has always confused me, but that that's what's going on. You have light will be and there was light. Yeah, Amar, yeah. Uh, and then is it mine? Am I 14 or 15? 15. Uh, so we've got a converted imperfect, right? Doubling dagesh. Vi, yar, and then this is quiescent, meaning don't say anything. So this is actually a closed syllable. And because this is a nothing sound, you don't say it, right? So this is a closed, uh, accented syllable. Vayar Elohim. Vayar Elohim. All right? Perfect. Et haor. Perfect. Key tove. Key tove. Right. So it's a double, it's a doubling dagesh. So you say vi and then it's doubled ya. Right. And so, so is this a vocal schwa, meaning that's a closed syllable or is it ya? Bet Dale. And there's one hint that tells you it's one or the other of those. And it has to do with this Begadka fat. When a Begadka fat starts a syllable, if the previous is a uh, uh, Non-vocal schwa. If it's non-vocal, this can't have the dot, right? This has the dot, so this is a closing syllable. Vi yav dale. Long o. Say it, say it one more time. Elo, Elohim. Good. Hey, you don't know how many times I parsed the Jordan River. Uh, you come to the word Jordan, and I think, okay, that's a verb. He's something. You know what is? It? And then, I, oh, it's the Jordan River. The guy who taught me Hebrew or helped me with Hebrew. I remember him saying, I don't know how many times I've parsed the Jordan River. You know, like not recognize it's a name, so. Uh, all right. Perfect. Bain Haor. And then mine, Uvain. Notice how I said the V sound because it doesn't have the dot. Uvain Ha Choshek. Ha. Ho, shek. So you've got the H and then the hard H. He, chet. Uh, I've got the holum. And then I've got the short uh, segol. That's my accent mark. Ha, ho, ha, ho, shek. All right. Good, good. So you picked up this is a doubling dagesh. Vi, then you start over. Yik, ra. 
vi yik ra Elohim. And then this line, they put this line so there won't be any confusion with this word. And I, I guess, um, well, I don't know why they're doing it, but the line's saying make sure you don't mess up this word and that word. Uh, Vayikra. Uh, all right. Good. Yom. La or yom. Good. Final uh, kof. Yeah. So, so I guess it's three opens. Ve, la, chol, shek. So this one's closed. Open, open, open. Good. Kara. And then I get the cool one. Well, they're all cool, but I like this one for some reason. La, ye, la. La, ye, la. So open, open, closed. I've read it as Layla uh, before. All right. Oh, we're almost to the end. We've read five verses together. Vayahi Erev. Boker. Yom Right, so if the dot's here, it's the U sound, and this is called a holom vav, and this is just how you say a long O sound. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is going to be open. Eh, chod, chod. Eh, chod. Rough H. Yeah, and you don't say that, but this is how you say it's a paragraph but it's an open paragraph. And they have another mark, a psalmic, which is a paragraph closed. So they've got two different paragraph marks, a mini paragraph and a major paragraph. This is the mini paragraph mark. So one to five go together. We've read our first uh, five sentences and we did it very well. So how do you guys feel about that? Do you, do you feel like we're headed in the right direction? Uh, so what we need to know is they're open and closed syllables. A closed, unaxed syllable can't have a long vowel. A begad kafat that has a dot starts the syllable. All syllables have to be started with a constant. Those are the four major uh, uh, syllable rules. That's not that hard, is it? Mm -hmm. 
We're learning a language that's 3,500 years old. Within 600 years of being the oldest anything on planet Earth. So, what do we have to learn between now and Wednesday? We have to learn these 15 words. Okay? So, where do we go for the definitions? In our document, uh, we have uh, the top 500 words in Hebrew, and we want all 500 of them together. Uh, so, where can we get that? Um, top 500 words in Hebrew. Um, Oh, I didn't know that was the PowerPoint. Uh, you can use this PowerPoint to review because if you use the PowerPoint, um, uh, you got the flashcards now, right? And uh, the two, right? So that so you've got access to that in in that folder. Uh, but there's a, a document um, uh, and I'm really not seeing that 500 in there. You guys aren't seeing it, are you? Uh, I bet it's in a, another folder. It, Okay, I will move this document uh, in that folder so you'll have the whole thing. Let's see if I do this, if it'll pull it up. Yeah, uh, top 500 words. Oh, it's a pity growing old and you have to have two sets of glasses to look at things. Uh, here we go. Top 500 words in Hebrew. And we'll save this to um, Dropbox Hebrew Hebrew Top 500 Hebrew words. Okay, so now you've got access to it. And so basically, every other day, we're doing 15 more. So um, we learned and, the, to, in, he, uh, direct object marker, from, you, they, I, Lord, to, um, who or which, he said, and upon. So that's what we learned first time. What we're learning now will be 16 to 30. So, coal is how you say all. I don't have a mnemonic device for that. I just had to memorize it. Um, low is not. Um, for me, I uh, that one didn't trip me up as much, so I think I just memorized that one. Uh, but this word, uh, low, uh, you can see it occurs almost 4,000 times in the Hebrew Bible. It occurs everywhere. Um, th this is the not in thou shall not, uh, Ten Commandments. So, so this is a word. Bane is actually a word that uh, uh, comes into English as Ben, like Ben Israel, son of Israel. Uh, so that one may be easier. 
key is that. So the Lord said that. That's the word that's going to appear. And what is he? Who is he? And he is she. All right. Haya is B, so that vehaya that we've been reading, it comes from this verb. Uh, it's an imperfect form. Uh, be or become. Atem is you, but it's you, masculine plural. So if you're talking to a group of men, in the, in the South we say y'all. Um, so the Hebrew had a y'all, uh, only y'all men. Uh, and then Israel. What, what do you think that would be? Right. So this is our Ke is like. Now, it's going to be really easy to confuse these two words. This one means that. This one's going to be attached to the next word. So this one's always going to be by itself. And this one has a schwa. Asa is to do, make, or act. Eretz, we've had in our reading, ha-aretz. Bo is to go into. Ish is a man. Isha is a woman. Uh... Yom we've had today, Yom Echad, and Melech, we may know Abimelech, my dad's the king, uh, Melchizedek, my king is righteousness, uh, so, and my goodness, we, we even know the first one on uh, uh, time from now, Elohim, so basically we just need to have these top 30 down. Um, uh, you want to see something cool a trick that um, I'll bet you'll use a lot do um, you ever wonder how like I get all these uh, nice things uh, spelled out um so precisely in Greek and Hebrew when I can't spell cat hardly in English. Have you ever wondered how all these beautiful slides get done? Let me give you a peek behind the curtain, okay? And this is a trick. I'll be surprised if you don't impress your um, friends with this. Uh, Okay, so we're going to call this uh, Vocab Review Hebrew 1 to 30. So I want to get those 30 um, words as slides on my PowerPoint. How long is that going to take me to type that out in Hebrew, would you suppose? And I can't get it wrong, right? Let me show you a trick. Bet you didn't know you could do this. So I want to make all these PowerPoint slides. So I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to go to a new document. And I'm going to paste that in so it did it perfectly, right? So I don't want these as part of my slides. Um, and I don't want uh, this as part of my slides. And I don't want this as part of my slides. I want those as my slides. But it's in a chart. So how do I convert it to not being a chart? 
I've got this little button that says convert to text. And I push it and it says, well, what do you want? Paragraph marks? And I want paragraph marks. So I push it and I've converted that table to text. Well, uh, I'm just going to say define heading one as whatever this is. And then I'm going to say select all. And I'm going to make all of them heading one. So I've got a nice little thing there of a bunch of heading ones. And I'm going to say, uh, save this in that um, Hebrew 1 document. Save it as uh, vocab uh, review uh, 1 to 30. And I'm going to call it PPP PowerPoint. And so I close that, and uh, I go to this, and I say, insert slide from outline. Where do you want to get the outline from? Well, how about vocab review PPP? And look what I got. I got 60 perfectly formatted PowerPoint slides in order, everything spelled right with all the words. So now what you can do when you're reviewing this is you can go forward and backward. So what's the word king? It's melech. What's the word day? It's the word yom. Uh, what's the word man? It's the word ish. What's the word go in? It's the word bow. For some reason, when they do verbs, they never put the vowels there. I don't know why they do that, but they don't. Uh, Eretz, uh, do make or act is asa. Cat is like. And then you can go frontwards, right? What is asa? It's do make or act. What is Eretz? It's land. What is Bo? It's Go In. What is Ish? It's Man. And so now you've got, in essence, a PowerPoint uh, thing you can use. And if you have Dropbox and you have access on your phone to your Dropbox, you can pull up the PowerPoint in Dropbox and go through this on your phone. And that was pretty easy to do, right? You can do that with anything. Convert uh, any Word document to a PowerPoint slide simply by making Heading 1, and it'll make all your Heading 1s into beautiful slides. And I use that all the time. Um, so I commend it to you. Uh, and you can show your friends and say, look what I found. And they'll say, oh, that is so cool, right? And it costs you five minutes, right, to learn how to do it. Um, all right. And uh, when I work on um, memory things often, I will take this. And if I'm exercising or something, I can be on the stair stepper or something and do that and uh, just go through. And I can go backwards, and that's the way I can get these words down. And because these words are used so many times, the more you get these in your long-term memory, the more words you're going to be able to read. So I commend it to you. Any questions or comments? All right. Well, thank you for your hard work. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.